Hello everyone, it's Paul again here with REO Auction Academy and today I'm going to go over the 1% rule. So a lot of people have questions on what is the 1% rule and basically what the 1% rule is in essence, if you rent a property for $1,200 per month, $120,000 is what you would pay for that property. Okay, and that's 1%. So one, it's 1% 1 of the sale price. That's more or less where you're getting here. And I got a great sample property. This is one of the rentals I owned in the Poconos here. And um, this one's a whale for me because it's well over 2%. It's one I picked up for 40,400 and maybe put about 10,000 in with closing costs and renovations repairs. So I'm around 50, 52,000 into this property. And as you can see, it's worth around 125 roughly if you look at this estimate. And I am probably going to be potentially selling this property here, listing at 129.9 and selling it to an investor who will probably more or less pick it up at that 1% rule here. And um, the reason I'm selling it, one, I'm going to double, you know, it's a great flip and take advantage of this red hot property. And then I might take those profits and roll them into multiple rentals and maybe in different markets as well. So part of why the reason I'm doing is just to offset risk. And again, that, that now I have a realized gain here and now I can put it into other rental properties. If I'm looking to go in a particular area, it's a great way to do it. I'm doing this with three different rental properties right now. But the 1% rule, again, 1% of the rent. So this rents for $1,200 per month. And to give you an idea what a $1,200 per month rental looks like, let's start at the first one, right? This is the exterior. It's a, it's it's a rancher here um does have a loft area i believe but we put in new granite countertops here put new appliances in but the existing cabinets here we put in backsplash we didn't do a lot with this we put in new carpeting you see new sink new faucet same fridge though same hot water heater floor was in decent shape we just cleaned that up we did put new carpeting in here and just touch things up the air conditioner was already there. The windows were already in good shape. I did re-stain a deck, uh, touch up when needed done there, put new flooring in a bathroom, vinyl flooring, nice and easy. And again, it rents for, there's the deck. And that was restained, refinished off here. The roof is in good shape. The doors are in good shape. And it, the current tenant in there is extending your lease for another year. So it's definitely desirable for somebody to buy. And what we're doing is we're selling this on roofstock.com. Roofstock.com is a company that sells rental properties to people looking, you know, professionals, whether it's a doctor, a lawyer, a dentist, or anybody looking to get into the rental game. And they sell it on their website there. They charge their commission. I believe it's two and a half or 3%. I believe it's standard 3% on that. And that's a great way if you want to get a property, get it cash flowing and then resell it. It's another great method to do it. In some markets, you'll actually get more than what the um, value of the property is or if you were to sell it on the MLS. Um, in my instance here, don't know whether it's, that's the case, but it's probably similar. So I'm just going to sell it on Roofstock and potentially two others as well. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video here and hopefully you understand the 1% rule. Again, for me, just to, to review real quick, it would be the 2% rule because I'm getting... I'm 50,000 into that property, 52 we'll call it, right? I'm getting $1,200 a month. So I'm over 2% return on it, which is a whale, what most people would consider a whale. Again, great rental would be a great one to keep, but I'm gonna take that money and then use that to buy maybe two or three other rentals and continue gaining cash flow and then have more potential properties. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, give me a thumbs up and we'll catch you at the next video.